John, and together we're OCB Reactions. And today we have a returning to the Mercury Tree with their song Symptoms. I, I, the, actually, the title of the song is so appropriate right now. Symptoms. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not alone, but yeah. <laughs> well, well, that and I'm just talking about, you know, the whole like Rona thing and all oh, that. Oh yeah, you know, well but, that and the fact that we're experiencing symptoms with our own ailments and yeah, uh, um, this is their music. If I recall, is uncomfortable, so it'll be like a symptom, right? Because of the whole microtonal guitar yeah. and all that. Uh, hey, before we go on, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. Go down into the description where we'll leave a link to this video and. Uh, if we're not as uh, reactionary as normal, it's not like we're just saying it's because we're uh, we're in pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, other than like the fact that the music was a little uncomfortable, I don't <coughs> really remember a whole. Lot. I remember it felt like it was out of tune, but it was the microtonal right um, scales and stuff, which I don't completely understand. Yeah, it, and the more I looked into it, I, I could appreciate them trying to do something new and something different. Right. I didn't like it. Honestly, I, 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 it's a band I didn't really want to return to. Because I tried, like, well, maybe they got, like, this shit's just a little out of my, you know, comfort yeah. zone or whatever you want to put it. But it's like, you know what, I'll give her another shot. It's for Steve 00009. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Um... But, it, it, yeah, I'll give it, uh, since I only listened to the one song, of course I'll give it another shot. I mean, it, it might have just been the one song. Yeah. Um, but, it, well, you know what? Rather than just assuming and whatnot, let's, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's just get over with. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you, be I'm nice. Not, no. <laughs> Ben's being a dick. I am being nice. I feel like we've stepped into a horror movie. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, yeah, that's a little off with all the flats and sharps and like, but I actually like this. Yeah, uh, it, it's drawing me in. It's like, this is very well-made mood music as, as so far. Yeah, I'm going to be very upset if after we're done with this, I see Freddy Krueger though. That's, <laughs> I, was that a bassoon or an oboe? I couldn't quite... It sounded more brass than woodwind. A, so. a, actually, in all reality, could have been a guitar. Well, I think it's a synth, but uh, well, it could have been a guitar you, with like a lot of uh, what do you call uh, like that thing a, a lot of compression behind it, and that that could be. But it sounded like a bassoon to me. I, and which, I've like, heard guys that can make guitars sound like saxophones. Well, so. what's that dead guy that made his guitar talk? Oh. Uh, Frampton? Yeah, Peter Frampton. Maybe he, he is. He did die, didn't he? I don't know. I think he might still be alive. Well, I hope he reason. is because I thought he was pretty awesome. But <laughs> the guy that wasn't a sh I wasn't shitting on Peter Frampton. I thought he's pretty amazing. But uh, well, anyway, oh yeah, we'll keep going. Okay.
more appreciative of this one. Um, but for me, I'm listening to it, and this is somewhere where it's a mix of anxiety, a nervous breakdown, and an orgasm. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying it because of the weirdness. I'm actually really liking it. It's like, surprisingly, it's like, this is so discordant and so, you know, out there with the instrumentation and the composition and it's like, but it still has a groove and a melody. The, the guy that's singing is carrying a melody over this mess. It's like, this is actually kind of amazing to me. Yeah, th this one, this one I'm appreciative yeah, of. Yeah, I, I, I actually like really it. like this one. It's um, like, what's funny is, it's like it starts falling apart and then kind of just falls back together. Yeah, it, it's it kind of reminds me of like mixed early Voivod with Carbomb. Now the band Carbomb or an actual Carbomb? The band Carbomb. Okay. Which is a good name for the band. But it's like, my first thing I think, I don't remember, it was one of the musical phrases in it. Um, that it's like, that's like, okay, these people grew up listening to Voivod and go like, oh, so this main songwriter of Voivod is had run over by a car, and which he did. And he's like, and he goes into these like fugue states and comes back out of them with lyrics and music. And it's like, so it's fucked up sounding. Um, it's like, so they're sitting around like, how can we be more fucked up than that and still be catchy? Well, they figured it out. Yeah. Well, let's get back into it. I'm enjoying yeah. it for, for, for the weirdness. So...
you know, I was thinking about it. I would love to do an interview with these guys just to find out what their uh, inspirations are. I, I mean, I could hear like slightly like, oh, well, the singer sounds a little bit like Jay Anderson from Yes sometimes, like with his phrasing and, uh, but, uh, and there are times I like my only, now that it's over, it's like, I will say this is a band probably not good for reacting to because this is something you have to listen to more than once so your brain can put everything where it's supposed to right. go. Um, and, uh, and there were parts in it where I started getting a little bored because it's like, it started normalizing and it's mm -hmm. like, it's gone on too long. But then they change it and it's like, oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, ultimately it, it's some really interesting stuff. I mean, I, what, what are the inspirations? I mean, is it drugs? It, just tell me, is it drugs? Um, <laughs> maybe you know, they got, maybe they just went out and got their head drained over by cars. I, 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 I don't know. know. Uh, no, I, I, I am way more appreciative of this one. Yeah. Uh, I really like, I'm honestly, I really like this. It's, and you, I mean, you've got your jazz elements to it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, and, uh, they're, I, something else I noticed is their instrument tones are interest are really cool. They're not using from the way I, what I can tell that you know they're they're not over distorted, but they're not clean either. They they found for their sound that happy place where I like I, in the end they're I, I don't like to banter this word around. I think they're probably geniuses as far yeah. as like yeah. and apply music theory. Yes. Um, um, and co they're compositional geniuses. It's like, I'm pretty sure insane geniuses, but yeah, because I would like to see them, you know, with a, get Devin Townsend to produce the next record. It's, it's like, <laughs> how fucked up, but epic can we make this? But uh, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, I, it's like thank you for this. Thank you for making me return to him. Yeah, I, I actually really like this. I'm I might go, I might just go listen to this song a couple more times. So it's like I can to completely absorb it. absorb it and completely understand what they're doing. Because yeah. right now it's like there's just passages flitting through my head and I I can't focus on any one thing. It's like so uh, the the only thing about it is for me this is definitely not a daily go to. Oh no! I would have an aneurysm. This, this this would be one of those where it's like I'm in the mood for something different. I need to hear something a little bit more complex than growling into a microphone. Yeah, and it might be something that's like when I want to be a pretentious dick to people I know. It's like yeah, but you don't know music. You don't know Mercury Tree. You know, it's like <laughs> uh, it's like I listen to Mercury Tree. It's like. Not that they're pretentious, but like I could use them to be pretentious myself. Yes, it's like uh, I listen to artistic. Yeah, music. I listen to Mercury Tree. I, I listen to well, not Muzak, but uh, <laughs> but now um, thank you because this, this yeah. was actually really cool. Right, yeah, fairly well. Thank you.